Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today's video is on a quick routine to get these barely there waves. You know, hair has been getting a lot more sleek and minimal, and I've still been over here curling my hair like a Pinterest Barbie. It was time for a change. And I've got this routine down to like 10 or 11 minutes, and it's a whole new world, because Pinterest Barbie hair takes a while. So obviously we're gonna talk about the curls, but I'm also talking about the blow dry, because I wanted to go over some smoothing tips with your blow dryer. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. First things first, you gotta prep the hair. Now, I do let mine air dry in a towel while I do my makeup, and then I'll take it down and add some product. If you have a little bit more struggle with frizzy or thick hair, I would recommend an oil. I love this one by Living Proof, it's great. But for me, because I have finer hair, I'm always going with my Living Proof Instant Perfecting Spray. And then no matter what your hair type is, use the Kristen S. Style Assist Blow Dry Mist. This stuff is Amazing, it adds shine, smoothness, it helps your brush to go through your hair easier, and it can help your hair to blow dry faster. Now the dryer that we're using today also helps with that, so it's like double power, it's amazing. And now, step two, the blow dry. I'm primarily gonna focus on the roots and ends because that's what's probably not gonna be on the curling iron as much, so we wanna get them as smooth as possible now. And today we're gonna be using the new T3 Cura Lux dryer. This thing is the actual sports car of hair dryers. The heat settings are digitally controlled, so there's no weird spikes in the heat. It also has five different heat settings for very precise heat management, and that creates more healthy results. It has a wider airflow, so the air goes out as it's drying and covers more hair, therefore it dries faster. And finally, it can do this. Sports car of hair dryers. We're first gonna do a rough dry, which just means that we wanna get the most water out of the hair as possible before we start going in and really trying to defrizz. The best way to do that if your hair is frizz prone or poof prone is gonna be to go through with your fingers. You can even pinch your fingers together to help pull your hair straight a little bit and point the dryer in the direction of your ends. You can also use a gentle like detangling or vent brush that can actually help your hair to dry faster and it still helps to give you that little bit of management like your fingers would. And then my trick for getting the wavy areas at the nape of my neck straight is actually to split my hair in half and then I take a brush like this that has some boar bristles on it. This is just from Target. It's the Shine brush from the company The Wet Brush and I'm using it to brush the roots of my hair as straight as I can. I'm even pushing my hairbrush into the roots of my hair as I'm pulling it straight. And that actually physically presses your hair straight and then the little boar bristles in here help to gently pull your hair even more. So it's really enhancing the straightness of your hair. So I go through and I brush diagonally until everything is dry and then I let down the top half and do the same thing again. Now if you're trying to fight volume in your roots, you're gonna brush the hair in the direction you want it to lay. If you want to enhance volume, I would actually suggest brushing your hair forward. And the dryer actually has a volumizing and texturizing button that you can use for this as well if you just wanna amp up the volume even more. And once that's dry, I go through the ends with my blow dryer and my boar bristle brush and get everything nice and smooth there. Now for this whole thing, I used heat level two, which is really just kind of a lukewarm. It didn't add any significant heat to my hair, but it did help a lot with the smoothness and shine. And that is my smoothing blow dry routine. It takes me like two more minutes than my normal wind tunnel routine, but my hair is a lot smoother and a lot shinier, so I have been adopting this more recently. And now for step three, we're just gonna pop in some sweet little waves. For these curls, I'm using a one and a quarter inch attachment, and this one has a clip, which you can use or not, depending on your preference. The first thing I do is leave off the very front of my hair. I like to curl that last so that I don't accidentally over curl it. So starting with your second piece, you're gonna take your iron about three inches out from your roots and wrap your hair around it until you have about three to four inches left uncurled. Just hold it there until it warms up. You can slide the iron back and forth if you want to. And then once everything's heated up, take it off the iron and pull it straight for one, two, three, and let it go. And just continue going until everything on that side is done except for the front. And then for the front, I only want there to be like the slightest bend. So I'm gonna take the front pieces, I'm gonna put the curling iron about the height of the middle of my forehead, wrap around one and a half times, hold it for like half the time that I'm holding everything else, take it off, pull it straight for one, two, three, let it go. And that side is done. Moving on to side number two, I'm leaving out the front pieces so I don't accidentally over curl them. 
and then going through and curling the exact same way. I'm curling everything away from my face because I like it when it all kind of lays in that uniform formation. And then I did my front piece and it's all done. That is the curl. It is the easiest thing you have ever done with your hair. And then step four is finishing. I recommend finishing everything off with a nice smoothing product. Uh, one recommendation would be the Kristen S Serum. It adds smoothness and shine manageability. But another product that just came on the market and I am having some good interactions with is the new Living Proof Instant Defrizzer. It's just a spray, you put it on, it adds shine, it fights frizz, it's amazing. There you go, sleek, shiny, little bit of movement, little bit of pretty ready to go anywhere with this hair. This routine just makes me feel like a lady who has my stuff together, and I appreciate that. I also like trying out a new look because it's about darn time that I did. But that's actually not it for today's video because T3, who kindly sponsored this video, is also giving back to you guys. If you would like to win a T3 Cura Lux dryer of your own and a simple human handheld mirror, a new face Trinity device, Bosha face mask and hum nutritional supplements you can enter to win by clicking the description box below and girl I wish I could win this this seems awesome not to mention that we can be dryer twinsies because I love this thing it's just so beautiful and it works so well and that is actually it for today's video be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video so that I know that you liked it and more people get to see it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video from me again that's it for today's video. I'll see you in my next one. Mwah! Bye!